Ever since Pluto was demoted to the status of dwarf planet in 2006, astronomers and citizens alike have been on the hunt for a new and official Planet 9. Now after 12 years of searching, we may have actually found it. Back in 2014, astronomers found that a few objects beyond Neptune, called trans-Neptunian objects, had orbits that just weren't right. These objects, such as the minor planet Sedna, all had orbits that seemed to mirror each other. Properties like their closest approach to the sun, the way their orbit points, and their angle of orbit are all just too similar. So similar, in fact, that the odds of finding them orbiting like this just randomly is about a 0.007% chance. A few different explanations have cropped up over the years to explain why, like they're affected by Neptune's gravity, or the passing of a star sometime in the past that could have pulled them into these orbits, but these have some unsolved questions that make them less than ideal. However, after scientists pondered the possibility of a large body among them, and ran some simulations, the math fit well enough that the existence of another planet floating out at the edge of a solar system became the most likely explanation. Planet X is estimated to be about the same size as Neptune, or roughly 2-4 to four times the size of the Earth, and about 10 times as massive. Some have speculated it's the remnant core of a long-gone gas giant, or a captured rogue planet, or even a large rocky world that formed with the other planets but was cast out to the Kuiper Belt long ago. But without actually observing it, we won't be able to find out. So is it out there? Well, we're not sure. For one thing, it will be very hard to detect directly. If it is real, its orbit will make it very far away, with its closest approach being calculated at 200 astronomical units away, or AU for short. An AU is the distance between the Sun and the Earth. To shed some light on how far 200 AU is, I want to mention the Voyager missions. They were launched by NASA to send the spacecrafts Voyager 1 and 2 to the outer reaches of the solar system, and so far, Voyager 2 is the only object to have visited Uranus and Neptune. And Voyager 1 has officially reached interstellar space, with Voyager 2 right on its tail. Both of these crafts are some of the fastest things man has ever made, reaching speeds just under 40,000 miles an hour. They were launched in 1977, and after 41 years of flying through space, still have only gotten to about 143 AU, which is about 70% of the distance towards Planet X, assuming it's actually at its closest approach. We also have no idea exactly where Planet X would be, so we have to scan every inch of the sky for clues. It also would take a very long time to orbit the Sun, completing just one orbit between 10 and 20,000 years and most of that time it will be too far away to detect. However, if we can find more odd orbited objects like Sedna floating around out there, it will almost guarantee there is something large in the void just waiting for us to see it. I for one am optimistic that Planet X is out there. Every planet in our solar system has features unique to them, and if Planet X is real, I would be ecstatic to learn why it's so far away and what it looks like. Its discovery would change the way we think about our solar system, and how it formed. It would show us just how much about the universe we still have to unravel, and even though we don't yet know everything, it's exhilarating to be a part of new discovery. <laughs>